fatalities, but at this hour, it appears that we have uh, at least 12 uh, fatalities, and we're continuing to try to uh, ascertain uh, how serious uh, is. Uh, and it doesn't get much more serious than that, obviously. We have one of the uh, officers for the Metropolitan Police Department is injured. Um, he appears to be. That at this stage, but we're continuing that investigation to try to determine uh, what the, uh, the motive uh, is. Um, we also don't know uh, for certain whether there are other shooters that have been reported, other people uh, in the building at the time. We're continuing to uh, engage in that investigation, uh, and we'll have better information on that um, later in the afternoon. Uh, we will be, we'll be back here at 4 o'clock. Uh, we'll be back for another press briefing at 4 o'clock. Uh, but now let me ask Chief Lanier if she will come up and provide some more detailed information on some of these issues. Um, I just want to first uh, start off by saying, um, uh, and as far as the initial response here this morning, you've heard we have uh, at least one officer with gunshot wounds that is um, currently being treated, but the uh, response by um, uniformed police officers from both the Metropolitan Police Department and United States Park Police was absolutely nothing short of heroic. Um, with at least 12 confirmed uh, dead at this point, I think the actions by the police officers without question um, help to, uh, to reduce the number of lives lost. So our hearts go out to the families of um, certainly all the victims here, um, but our gratitude to the uh, frontline officers of the Metropolitan Police Department uh, and also uh, the United States Park Police who uh, ran into danger this morning to try and reduce the number of victims. I'll start from the top uh, and go through quickly. Um, right now we're confirming at least 12 fatalities. Uh, we had a few additional folks who were injured. They were not fatally injured. Um, we have uh, additional officers that were injured. Only one injured by gunfire at this point. Some other uh, injuries sustained uh, by multiple different uh, police agencies on the uh, large response uh, inside. Uh, we are officially now transitioning to an FBI lead. So the FBI will lead the investigation. The entire investigation will be processed and handled as a unified um, process. But uh, with that said, any additional information that anybody might have that they want to share for the investigation, you can call 1-800-CALL-FBI, 1-800-CALL-FBI. Um, I have a slight update on the lookout for potentially two additional uh, individuals involved in the shooting. Uh, the first is for a white male between 40 and 50 years of age um, wearing um, uh, wearing a tan, I'm sorry, white male wearing a tan, what appears to be military uniform consistent with um, naval uniform and a beret style hat. Uh, we also have a lookout for a black male between the ages of 40 and 50 and an olive military style uniform. He is uh, about approximately 5'10", 180 pounds, uh, medium co complexion with gray sideburns, uh, graying sideburns. Um, we have no indication of any motive at this time. Uh, we are updating and asking for family members. Uh, we know a lot of folks uh, have cell phones and can contact family members, but if you're looking for uh, contact with any of your family members that may have been inside of the Navy Yard today, um, NCIS has uh, established a phone number now for reunification. That number is 202-433-6151. Uh, a secondary number, 202-433-9713. Um, uh, right now we have an impact to the area. Obviously a large part of the area is still in lockdown. We're still asking residents to stay out of the area and remain in your home. Um, we do feel like the area is safe. We do still have an active search for potentially additional suspects right now, so we're asking people to please remain in their homes and stay out of the area. Um, again, there is multiple agencies here. We've gotten support from a lot of our counterparts in the region, uh, Maryland and Virginia, uh, as well as all the uh, federal agencies here in Washington, D.C. Um, there are very, very few questions that we can answer at this point. Um, still a lot of information to come. We will be doing another update in two hours. I think at this point we would take a limited number of questions we would ask please for your patience 
uh, and then uh, we'll we'll go from there. Who, who should stay home? We've asked people to stay out of the area around the Navy Yard. We have sent out text alerts to the residents around the area and asked them to please stay out of this area at this time until we send out an additional follow-up. Chief, are there victims? Chief, uh, why do you believe there were two additional potential shooters? Did they engage the officers or were they seen or why? How, how did this happen? The, the question is, is why do we believe there's two additional suspects? Right now we have multiple pieces of information that would suggest that we have at least two other individuals that were seen with firearms. We uh, know both of those individuals were wearing military style uh, uniforms, but did not mean that we do not know if they are actually military employees. But these are people that we uh, um, really are believe that are involved in some way, and we're trying to locate those individuals. Chief, what about the shooter who was dead? What can you tell us about the shooter who was dead? I can't tell you anything at this point. I can't comment on anything related to anything on, on evidence or anything on the scene right now. I'll take two more questions. Well, the description of possible suspects, does that come from eyewitness or video camera footage? I'm not going to comment on that. We have reason to believe that these people may be involved and we need to talk to them. Did you we get to terrorist victims? victims? Were there victims in more than one building or did you find victims in different buildings as well? I'll say this. We are still doing an extensive search. This is a large base. We've got multiple agencies and multiple teams. The remainder of this search could take another couple of hours, so we're not going to comment on the location of any evidence or anything like that, but I'd say in the next two hours we do our next update. Our next update, our next briefing will be at 200 I Street. Uh, for those of you, so we are not here in the middle of the street, we want to clear out this area, so next uh, briefing will be in two hours, 200 I Street, and we will um, try and answer more questions then if we can. That's all we can take right now. Thank you very much.